Hey guys, Just Freckles back online again, and today I'm doing an apartment speed build. So I love apartments, but I feel like it's really hard to find like a nice floor plan with nice colors and nice furniture for fairly cheap. And so I was trying to do that at the start, but it didn't really work. So I showed you guys like really quickly at the start, like what it looked like before. There was like a bright pink couch, it was crazy colored walls, and so I just made the walls like a neutral, a neutral like muted light to gray color and i was originally planning on doing like old like kind of cheap furniture but then i ended up giving up because i just couldn't do it it looked so bad um so then i just chucked in like a bunch of stuff on the tv room i mostly did like black and white with like a few accent colors because it's just a lot easier to follow it if there's not like a bunch of different colored stuff I guess in the room um so I mostly went with black and white and I really wanted to try a gramophone to work um but it just wouldn't so I gave up on it and chose a different stereo um and then the kitchen was fairly straightforward so I decided to add in these fun little fairy lights to kind of make it more jazzy and it looked so cool and I forgot about a dining room so I chucked those there and then those little flower wall things I could not work like get to work for my life and then the first bathroom was originally just going to be a laundry room and then I thought well that could kind of be the guest bathroom and then there could be like an ensuite because it's kind of weird having to like go through someone's bedroom to get to the bathroom. Um, so I kind of made that one work and then I chucked in beds in the what I was planning on being the two bedrooms but I ended up making it a one bedroom um, apartment. You'll see later what I do with that one. Um, I put fairy lights in the bedroom as well because it's so cute and I just love it. Um, I also really love the color of the walls. It looks so pretty. It's like a mid between like a periwinkle blue and like a lilac purple. And yeah, I put in a cute journal and then I put in a decorating box because I love holidays. Like I just love holidays. And then I kind of was thinking like, is it weird putting like actual real candles in a bedroom instead of like a lamp? And then it was like, and I was like pondering this for so long, but then I was like, eh, it's fine. Um, and then I wanted to put in a bookcase, but I also wanted the really big closet, but it just didn't work. So I put in a tiny dresser with two drawers. Like, how could that store all of your clothes? Um, but again, it's a Sims. Whatever. Um, and then this one was super, super quick to do. Trapped in a desk, a cool chair, which I'm obsessed with, and a cool bookshelf. So, yeah, it looks so awesome, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know if you guys are ready for the grand tour of this place. I actually spent like two hours on it, which is a lot for me. I normally spend like two hours on a house and this is an apartment, but I experimented with a lot of things. I think I decorated it pretty well. Um, I actually used like really cool stuff. So without further ado, when you first walk in, you kind of enter on the kitchen it's a bit cluttered around here, but I hardly had any space in this area because I wanted this area to be nice and big and the fireplace. But yeah, so you walk in on pretty much a dining table. So I guess if you're coming for dinner, you know, you just need to walk in and sit down. But if you walk in and you turn to the right, that's the bathroom or like a guest bathroom. And it doubles as the laundry room because this was initially going to just be the laundry room. But then I realized that I couldn't turn this into a room because this wouldn't fit as, a off as like an office or study. And yeah, and I was going to put like the study area out here so I could have actually a two bedroom apartment. But no. So yeah. So you walk in. And there's dining table and bathroom. And then there's this massive clock, which I'm obsessed with. It's actually pretty big, so I may have to actually move it to, like, somewhere like there. I sized it up because I think it looks puny at the normal size. Which, normally, that's, like, really big for me. But I had a lot of wall space, so I sized it up. And I think it looks amazing. That probably was horrible. Um, and then this is the kitchen. I love the kitchen i think the fairy lights make it look so cute and i was kind of envisioning this for like 
a student that's like just gotten out of uni or is like going into uni stuff like that you know and then oh around here is actually the tv area which is possibly one of my favorite tv areas i've done which is weird because it's one of also the smallest i've done but i really do love it i like going with monochrome for this for builds like this that are so open plan and especially in apartments because i think if you have a small apartment because this is a fairly small apartment compared to some other ones um you know having lots of different colors can make it look very cluttered so with big like what's the word open plan with big open plan spaces like this i like to do mostly monochrome with like a few pops of color like for example this plate is a pop of color the fruit bowl the fairy lights this little calendar area i've mostly gone with like colds and the only like really warms i guess i've done is there at least for the main area and obviously there's like some browns and such and over here but those are very minor you know they're not going to make the biggest difference so anyways i've been yapping for too long about colors so you walk like you go into like the tv area and i'm not even i no i was gonna say i don't know if your sims could fit around that but i looked at it and i guess looked at it and i was like they definitely can so there's like a little console table here you know for like photo frames and stuff which I want to kind of like fill with actual photos with my sim which like I'm so down to do a university let's play please let me do a university let's play I love university my sim my first ever sim just graduated a few days ago which is really exciting so yeah um so you know you you walk on it in I really love this couch from ah uh, I really love this couch from, I'm pretty sure it's, it's Parenthood. Parenthood has some of my favorite things of all time. I think it is so insane. I love Parenthood. I love Parenthood so, so much. So, yeah. And then this fireplace is, I want to say it's Vintage Glamour. Is that Vintage Glamour or is that... No, that's Vintage Glamour. Okay, I am so good with my packs. And then this little decal behind it looks so good. This is a Parenthood decal. I know that for a fact. You can see that right here. Parenthood. Love their decals, actually. I think they're so cute from kids' rooms. And then I just did some cute little fitness stuff. Paintings. And then I actually had to put in a Lindsay, or aka an Alexa, because I think they're so good, and... Honestly, they look really clean, and they click onto fireplaces. I really wish, um, what, what's it called? Odd, uh, like, radios and stuff clicked onto this, because I wanted to do this one, but it doesn't click on. It just, like, glitches through, and I wanted something that clicked on, and the Alexa clicked on, or, sorry, the Lindsay clicked on. So, yeah. And then TV I sized up because it looked too puny and I didn't want the one with the massive speakers. Looks like if we could just get like a plain... I don't think we do have like a plain TV like that. Do we? No, it's just like this one with like the massive... Um... Carrot key, carrot key. Um... With the massive speakers. Oh... Yeah, so you can see I've sized it up, and then I also had to put a gaming thing on. Of course, actually, that was one thing I wanted to add, but I didn't actually do. I wanted to add in plants, but I was like, you know what, I'll get in the essentials first, and then I just got so distracted. So, yeah. What plant do you reckon I should put in? I have one that I really love, I just can't... Like, I can never... Oh, mm, mm. It's basically like that, but it's like stretched. Ah, I can't find it. Sometimes I'm like, have they just like taken things out of the game? But then I think like, why would they do that? Why would they do that to me? And then I realize, oh, they probably actually haven't. You're probably just not looking properly. Which most times does happen. So... 
Yeah. I thought it was like around this area, but apparently it isn't. Although I do play. Okay, that one will do. Q. Okay, for a second I thought that was the one I'm looking for. I'm just gonna see it. Okay, good. They have a plain white. Okay, settle for that. Okay, done. We're done. We're done here. Okay, thank you. But I've spent too long in this. Okay, video's ended. Bye. Okay, no. So, living area. I wanted to add in plants for so long and I just completely forgot. Bookshelf. This one I think may be from fitness stuff, which is really weird. Actually, fitness stuff, I personally think, gets a bad rap. Yeah, fitness stuff. Because I actually think that some of the furniture is really good. I'm sure you don't really use fitness stuff very much, but I also quite like the clothes. I think the clothes can be really good. Um, well, select clothes. But I think that furniture like this is really good. Furniture like this is really good for small spaces like what I was working with. And I think it does get a bad rap. And tell me it doesn't. So yeah. Again, favorite part of this area is probably just this little cave. This area kind of reminds me of like a cave kind of grotto-y area. And this, I really love the fairy lights. I had to continue it in here because I loved it so much. And then you walk down the hallway and if you take the fast door on the right, aka the only door on the right... You go into the master bedroom, aka the only bedroom. Here, let's go into top down view. So, the floor plan for this, I was going to do like a really fancy big closet. But, I wanted to add in like some books and stuff. I wanted to also see if these worked as like proper bookshelves. So, I still have yet to test that. I had to do the decals again. I had to include this painting. This is my all time favorite painting in The Sims. But, yeah bed i love this season's bed i think it is so beautiful how they've done the little you know like the details because my bed does something kind of similar to that i have a massive blanket that goes over it and yeah it does something kind of similar except it does not ever look this neat my bed i love these side tables i love them okay and i i like the idea that it's mirrors because you can like get up and instead of like being like oh, okay walk into the bathroom for a mirror you can like stare at yourself in there <laughs> i don't know i like that there's mirrors there also again because i know my parents will probably be watching this these are lights anything that if you ever see these things they're lights okay <laughs> clearing that up for my parents sake and then over here i have like these little candles which are just decorative you know what, they're probably like little LED ones. And then this one, I really love this mirror because I think that it's so cute for like teenage gals or whatever, teenage boys, whatever. Because you know, there's like the little, like little Polaroids on them and there's lights around it. I love that. And then I imagine the sim to be very artsy, very chill, you know. The space that she's living in kind of gives it away. So I gave her an easel because I feel like you know, you're going to university, you have an apartment of your own, you know, you, do, you need to be making money, and you know, painting's a good way to do that, and also, because we're in the city, and I've never done this before, I really want to busk, you know, like, busk for tips, you know, where you, like, play, and people will tip you, yeah, that's busking, so I have a key, uh, guitar here, and then in here I have a piano, okay, we're not on to that room, okay, and then here is, like, just a little basic bathroom, there's a shower, there's a bath, um, there is a toilet and there's a sink. Bathroom. Done. Okay. In here, I went with green. Um, yeah. Is it? <laughs> and I really love this ghost chair and I never get an opportunity to use it. And I was, like, thinking, like, you know, online classes, you know, through Zoom, what would I want? <laughs> as like, my dream Zoom workspace. Which is, of course, a colorful, beautiful rainbow bookshelf. Uh ghost chair a piece like a laptop of course um a pin board so i can be like okay this assignment's due there this assignment's due there rent is due here another lindsay because i feel like it's going to be useful a thermometer i've put throughout the place and then i put 
a piano in there. So that's the apartment. I'm obsessed with it. I really also love this wood. I'd like to bring attention to this. This jungle adventure wood. If I didn't already have jungle adventure, I would buy jungle adventure just to get this floor. Because I think that that floor is so cute. I think the clothing in that pack is so cute. Okay, this is not a jungle adventure review. So, what have we learned from this video? Okay, um... Use fairy lights in your kitchen, use fairy lights in your bedroom, use fairy lights everywhere. Small spaces, monochrome, pops of colour. Kai is barking. Okay, I need to deal with that in a second. So, yeah, I really love this place. I hope you guys too, because you may be seeing this in a future upcoming series. I hope this is, like, cheap enough for a starter, otherwise I may need to, um... cheat some money in terms of the place it's a well technically there's two sides to it but now i'm just gonna say it's one bed two toilets um it's of course an apartment um oh it's worth thirty four thousand seven hundred and thirty four um i'll upload this to the gallery oh i've done the wrong thing here <laughs> okay, I'll upload that in a second. In terms of the trait, I want fast internet. I want great acoustics. I want hmm home studio. Okay, so it's a really good thing for like making lots of money. Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload a video. Share this video with all of your friends and all of your family, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye from me, and goodbye from every single one of my freckles. Here's just a little... Mm.